Hello, I'm Father Rob Jack, and I'm the host of the afternoon show on Sacred Heart Radio called Driving Home the Faith. We're on Mondays to Fridays through four, from 4 to 6 here on Sacred Heart Radio, 740 a.m. and 910 a.m. We've been talking the last two times about the Lord's Prayer, the most important prayer. Oftentimes we've heard the most perfect prayer that God himself has given us. Jesus has said, when you pray, say these things. And we say them, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now we talk, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we talk about, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now today we get to the final part, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That because we have free will, that last part, lead us not into temptation huh? and deliver us from the evil one, we know that every day we're involved in a spiritual battle. We are. The evil one, the devil, wants to destroy us. He has a profound hatred of us. He hates every human being, every human person that was ever created because we have been given a gift that he wasn't which was for God to take on our image and likeness in Jesus Christ. And he sees us as, as very lowly, very despicable creatures. That's where the devil sees us. And so he knows he can't beat us up one way, and so he entices us. He draws us into things with temptations. He feeds us lies, lies that feed our own desires, which are often selfish and disordered and lust-filled and loathsome. You know, we, we get those things. But the question is, how do we deal with them? And it's clear. The Lord knows. Uh, Jesus was tempted in the wilderness for 40 days, and yet he was also the Son of God, so he couldn't sin. Now, and he wouldn't sin because, again, he is God. We, on the other hand, have a free will, and we have a choice. Does our love of God take preference, or does the love of ourself take preference? The devil wants us to take that love of ourself and elevate it higher than the love of God. That's what temptations seek to do. My pleasure is more important than God's wills. My desires are more important than God's plans. We don't even think about the future. Well, that's our weakness, and the devil plays on it every day, every moment that we have, especially when we're tired, when we're frustrated, when we're feeling sorry for ourselves. In other words, when our weakness, spiritual weakness, is greater than other times. And so he says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. It's, Lord, give us the strength to always know that you are the one we can rely on. The devil says rely on him. Yeah, that doesn't work real well. We rely on him. We'll end up in prison. We'll end up alienating people, including our own soul. You don't depend on the evil one, and you don't buy his lies. Those lies will sound real good, and those lies will make it sound like you're doing good, but they're not. To know the will of God, which is to follow Jesus, his son, on earth as it is in heaven. He gives us his body and blood every day in the Holy Eucharist, which we can receive, and we can grow in grace. And we practice forgiveness as we know God forgives us. If we believe those things, then when temptations come, because they will, we're spiritually weak, we will have the strength and determination to say, nothing but you, Lord. I want nothing but you. The devil offers all this glitz and glamour and no consequences. They're all lies. We know what Christ teaches us. It's the cross. It's God's mercy. It's a daily friendship with the Lord in which we ask him to be near us at all times. Let that be part of the Lord's Prayer for you today. And as we say that prayer, hopefully every day, every time we go to Mass, every time we say our prayers, that these little reflections will help you focus on what it is we're asking for and why it is we need it. And when we do that, we'll find our prayer life grow. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hi, I'm Anna Mitchell from the Sunrise Morning Show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can share more special content with you and connect with us as well at sacredheartradio.com.